Hello everyone. Welcome to another video blog from Boomer Tech Adventures in our Ask BTA series. I'm Ed Brzee, who with my friends and colleagues, Jill Spencer and Chris Toy, are founders and consultants of Boomer Tech Adventures. Boomers want to feel competent and confident in their online skills and, and while using their devices. To reach that goal, Boomer Tech Adventures provides personalized guidance and step-by-step -step instruction. Although our main focus is Apple devices, as you'll hear today, we also address safety, privacy, communication, productivity, and personal online business, regardless of platform. So we're glad to have you here with the three of us uh, from Boomer Tech Adventures. And today, Chris and I are going to interview our third colleague, Jill Spencer, who is our uh, master course creator extraordinaire. We have all our names on it, um, but Jill has done a number of courses and she has a, we have a brand new course that Jill just did called Mac Maximizing Your iPad, iPad's Potential. And we're gonna ask Jill some, some questions about that. Uh, we know because she's told us that she is also working on her own iPad um, museum, that she has so many <laughs> versions of iPads that at some point you'll hear about that and, and you'll be able to travel to Maine and, and see all those. <laughs> well, maybe not. <laughs> right. How many do you think you have, Jill? Um, there's the mini. Going back to when iPads first came out, <clears throat> I think I have five. But most most of them do not update to 15. In fact, the little mini, which I just held up, only uh, goes up to nine point something. So okay. um, I love my iPads. <laughs> I don't use them. I just have a hard time getting rid of them. I mean... I just do. Well, they may at some point they may be worth something too. I, I mean, you never know. You see about those early Apple computers that show up for sale, and and uh, people do well by that. So, well, we're talking about your brand new um, uh, virtual course that we offer through uh, Boomer Tech Adventures, maximizing your iPad's potential. Um, I haven't even told you this, but yesterday we had a number of inquiries about that. So people are excited about a course just dedicated to iPad. Um, you just got a new iPad uh, yourself. Do you want to talk a little bit about the, the one you bought and, and how you sure. use that to create the course? Sure. Uh, my, other, my second oldest or second newest <laughs> iPad um, really was working okay. It was relatively new, but I found things like composing on it or <clears throat> doing a presentation on it. I could do it, but it took me longer because of the on-screen um, keyboard, which for short things like email, et cetera, was fine. So I went looking and there are all sorts of choices, but this time I chose the iPad Pro. I'm going to un uh, blur my background so that mm -hmm. we can see this a little better. Okay. <laughs> a little sharper. So this yeah, time I ordered, this is the iPad Pro. <laughs> and I also ordered the Magic Keyboard. And if you look at it, you see there is a keypad, or trackpad rather. And um, that's different from earlier uh, Bluetooth keyboards that you could attach to your iPad because it works more like uh, a laptop. Yeah. And hmm. the other big difference is there's no home, whoops, there's no home button. It's a swipe and there's my thing. But because there's no home button, notice how much bigger the screen is. Oh, yeah. It's the same size mm -hmm. as my other one, uh, which has the traditional home button. Uh, but um, 
the screen is bigger. And the other thing on the new iPad Pro is that um, the display is really sharp. Yeah. So with does the, it um, does, does, does it fold like a like a laptop or does it stay open? Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. and it's a nice solid case um, that came that comes with the Magic Keyboard. And I think one of the reasons I was getting frustrated with my less new iPad was it was um, sometimes it seemed a little sluggish to me, and I'm afraid that's may have because I've dropped it so often. Hmm. You know, I had it on the edge of my chair, and I go like this, and yeah. boom. Uh, whereas this one, uh, that doesn't happen. So um, what I reason I wanted a keyboard is uh, I wanted to be able to do more boomer tech work right directly on the iPad. Um, and so I find with the keyboard, the fact that I can touch, I've got a touch screen and a keyboard, doing things like creating presentations, uh, doing some composing uh, is much more efficient for me. Hmm. Now, I'll be honest. Um, when I'm working with the presentations, like the slide decks for the, the course, when I get to uh, fine tuning the graphics, I do go to my desktop computer. And, uh, but what I do is I often start things or revise things on my iPad. And that way um, I can, if I'm traveling, it's almost like a laptop. It's not mm. quite. I mean, there's some things, you know, that an iPad doesn't do that a computer does. Uh, but uh, it's really been um, pretty cool to be able to sit in my chair with my dog in my lap, <laughs> creating um, or starting to create presentations or starting to create a blog post or something like that. Uh, other than that, it... Um, it works pretty much like any other iPad. Um, the big changes, of course, come in the operating system. And so now I think I'm up to 15.2. And mm -hmm. uh, that's where the major changes are. So you do need an up-to-date iPad in order um, for those to kick in. Yeah. So for someone who's thinking about um, looking into the into mm. this new course, can you kind of tell us what are the kind of major areas that you cover? Sure. And it is an introduction. Uh, one of the things I found as I was working on the course was, oh, my goodness, I probably should we should, probably should have an iPad two, three, four and five, because it's amazing the depth that is available. But this is uh, this course will help somebody who is relatively new to the iPad, or somebody who's really never used it for much more than email, maybe taking a few pictures, etc. Um, so start off with, with the basic uh, navigation. This is the real introductory part. Um, what you do, you know, vocabulary, what's the docs, what's a doc, what's a long press, what's the app switcher, etc. Uh, but there are a couple things in there that um, a lot of people don't know about the app switcher, which, for example, is uh, when you call it up, you can toggle between uh, apps that are open. And it's also mm -hmm. the way you close your apps. Um, the second thing we talk about is uh, iOS 15 and how to update because both when I did adult ed and when I've worked with our clients in Boomatech Adventures, uh, people don't always know about updating or they're afraid to update, they've heard stories. Uh, and so this talks about the steps, this is a short video, how to do it. Um, another thing that we talk about in the course is organization. How do you organize your iPad uh, as you start to get lots of apps or you download stuff, etc. cetera? And um, again, it's not like a uh, laptop or a desktop. You can't alphabetize the folders, but you can make folders. You can move the icons around. 
you can change your dock so it has the apps that you are most uh, you use the most. Then I uh, do a couple of videos on communication, uh, texting, and FaceTime. Again, people know how to do a basic text, but they don't know how to do the fancy stuff with making um, backgrounds and uh, that sort of thing. And a lot of people uh, know they have FaceTime, but not sure how to use it. And then the, se the second part of communication is um, email. Now I'm talking about the iPad email icon. A lot of people download uh, an app for Yahoo or download a uh, Google app, uh, which those work too. But I don't get into that because there are so many different email providers. So we talk about the iPad mail app so that people will feel uh, comfortable with that. Uh, then we go into settings and the control center. And again, settings is a place that a lot of people are afraid to go. They're afraid that they're going to tap something and boom, you know, the iPad's going to explode. Uh, so again, can't go through all the um, settings, but go through some major ones and again, show people how to navigate through um, settings. And then the control center, which again, a lot of people don't even know they have fast access to uh, some apps. Then uh, we do uh, the camera app, of course, and the photos um, app, which is again, amazing for this little device. And that's in two parts also, organization and then also editing. Uh, then the last two uh, talk about Safari. Safari, you know, has some, uh, features that other browsers don't have, and um, such as the reader's view, et cetera. And so uh, mm -hmm. we take some time there. And then we talk about Siri. I was just working with a friend yesterday and her iPad. And she said, well, you know, I don't use Siri. And I thought, well, we need to teach you how to do that because um, her fingers aren't as nimble as they used to be. And Siri would be a big help. And then the last video uh, is called Be Adventuresome. Uh, my personal feeling is when you have an iPad, and it's true of the phone or your computer, it really is a gateway to the rest of the world. Uh, there's, there's no excuse for saying you don't have anything to do if you have one of these devices. Uh, so we talk about, first of all, the App Store. Again, when I taught at Adult Ed or when I've talked with uh, some of our clients, they're again nervous about the app store. They don't know how it works. They don't know how to figure out which app they want. Uh, and then we talk about all the different possibilities that are in the app store for all the different interests. And then we move on to podcasts, YouTube, and the internet in general. And uh, uh, if you've got an interest, you'll be able to find it somewhere. And so be adventuresome. Uh, go beyond texting and emailing and taking an occasional picture. I, I love but, that. I love that last part, Jill. Be adventuresome because sometimes we just all of us get so bogged down into, oh, it looks different or it looks different in the new, the latest iOS update, or I'm concerned about security, or and we worry about yeah. all those things. And I understand that. But there really is a whole world out there to discover that's absolutely amazing. We have access to so much stuff. That's right. Like Love we were it. talking about how icy it is right now. And and what of the was it Monday that was so cold? I'm thinking, I'm not going out today. Right. <laughs> I'm not going to go skating, sledding down my driveway in um, one degree weather. And so, you know, I had my iPad. Or, books on it, I uh, stream video, I play games, um, I do research. Uh, you know, I was quite happy. <laughs> and you mentioned, I just want to say, you mentioned security. When we go into settings, we talk, I talk, we talk a lot about security and how to protect yourself. Yeah, so um, clearly this is a, um, for an introductory, um, course it's it's quite comprehensive 
Um, what advice might you give to someone, again, who's kind of looking at uh, whether or not to get this course? How would, you, how would you suggest that they kind of make the most of it or keep it manageable as they're using the course? Sure, sure, good question. Uh, I suggest, and it's in the pamphlet, that you start out with the first three videos, um, navigation, updating to iOS 15, because all the examples in the um, course come from iOS 15 and organization that you do those three first. And uh, again, some of the videos are lengthy, longer than, you know, I start talking an old teacher and you know, before you know it, you've gone on for three hours. No, don't worry, <laughs> none, of, none of the videos are that long. But I'd say, take it in bits and pieces. Um, listen to part of the video, stop it, try things out. Um, and then when you're ready, go back and move on or go back and review. I mean, that's the great thing with these videos. Uh, once you have the pamphlet, you have the links and you can, uh, you can go to that uh, video as many times as you want and stop and start and replay and um, feel confident. And like I said, some of the videos, like when you start getting into the camera, there's a lot of detailed information there. Uh, again, these are a little more awkward to take pictures with than with the phone. Uh, however, the, the stuff about the iPad also applies to the iPhone for the most part. So uh, you're really kind of getting two for one. Um, if you're not real familiar with your iPhone also that you'll be able to transfer a lot of the uh, information from uh, this course to using it on your iPhone. It may look a little different, but you can um, most likely figure it out. So I say, and these, yeah, and these courses come with support from us, don't they? Um, yes, sir. As I say many times um, in the video, don't hesitate to email us at ed.boomertechadventure.com and uh, you will get. Um, pretty rapid response to your question. We have, um, with, with the nice new iPad course, we have 11 uh, virtual courses now that range from uh, introduction to iPhone, introduction to the Mac, how to use Zoom, um, several uh, photography and uh, courses, and how to use the Photos app to organize and edit, um, and a number, a number of other things. And these are, these are virtual, they're available at uh, boomertechadventures.com on our blog post, and you can find them there. They only cost $30. <laughs> uh, it's, it really is a huge bargain, and you have that, the course forever. Uh, of course, we're gonna, we'll update it at some point too when it gets out of date, but it's, uh, it, it, it can be used again. You can you can uh, watch the videos at your own speed and at your own rate, and you can go back and watch them again. So um, we recommend you take a look at that if you haven't seen any of those courses. Yeah. And just uh, kind of a, maybe a ending or final yep. word. Uh, when I record, <clears throat> I tend to be pretty informal. It's not a formal presentation mm -hmm. with, you know, point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3. It's kind of like to create mm -hmm. The atmosphere that I'm sitting at your kitchen table with you, uh, showing you some of the different features. And again, hoping that you'll stop and practice them. Because remember, and I think this is important, uh, when you're learning something new, it takes anywhere, depending on how complex it is, 15 to 30 practices before it's internalized. And so uh, it's important to do that practice and remember that so you think you have it in January, if you go back and try to do it in June, it's possible that you've forgotten how to do it or it's not, you haven't got all the steps quite there. So if you've got the pamphlet, you just go click on the video and double check. Thanks, Jill. Let's, we'll, we'll use that as a wrap up. Thank you, Jill, very much and Chris. And um, we look forward to seeing you on the next Ask BTA. 
Enjoy using your iPad. If you have an iPad, it's one of 425 million that have been sold since its inception in 2010. So I don't own mm -hmm. all of them. You don't own all of them. If you have some, <laughs> there we go. If you have, if you have some you're not using and you're done with them, send them to Jill. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, one, one, one yeah. last, one last, last plug would be, you know, in addition to our being available, you know, through the course. Um, we would invite you to join our BTA club, which actually will provide you with another level of support, not only just for your iPad, but for actually any questions that you might have about using technology. Um, the feedback we're getting from folks is that um, their very inexpensive membership to the BTA club has uh, paid them um, innumerable dip dividends right. for um, you know for access to um, support not only from us but from um, the the uh, community as well. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that, Chris, too, because one of the benefits of joining BTA Club is that you get a free course, one of our courses. You could get Jill's iPad course as a um, as part of the membership for a year. So another great benefit. So again, thank you all. We look forward to seeing you on the next Ask BTA.